Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'll be giving my MLB DraftKings picks for Tuesday, September 5th. Uh, we got a full 15 game slate on for this Tuesday. Um, before we get started looking at this slate, I uh, just want to thank you guys for all the support you've been showing on the videos lately. Um, all my videos as of late have been doing very well just with likes and with views. Uh, my channel's really starting to increase, uh, getting a lot of subscri new subscribers lately. So thank you to all of those of you that have subscribed. I do really appreciate it. You guys do mean a lot to me. The fact that I make these videos daily uh, and all you guys come to watch them, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for the support lately. I do really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started looking at today's slate. Alright, so looking at pitcher today, uh, we have a lot of pitching options, a lot of studs you can target today. And also a lot of good mid-range options I like as well. Um, we have a ton of expensive bats you can pay for today. Uh, we have two pitchers going in cores that aren't that great. So uh, I think you are going to want to get exposure to the cores field game. Uh, and some of those bats are expensive, so I don't think you have to pay up for pitcher today. Uh, but there are some really good options at the top. Uh, at the top. Jacob DeGrom being one of them. Um, getting a matchup at home against the Phillies, that's a really good matchup for DeGrom. Uh, he has a ton of upside in that spot. So there are guys up top you want to pay for. Uh, but I think there are mid-range options you can target to where if you don't want to pay up for pitcher, uh, you don't have to today. You can really spend at the bats if that's what you choose to do. Uh, but I am going to be paying up for pitcher. Uh, I think there's a really cheap SP2 I can pair with my expensive pitcher. Uh, and that still leaves me decent salary to where I can fit in some expensive bats if I choose to do that. So the expensive pitcher I want today, the guy I've already mentioned, uh, Jacob DeGrom getting a matchup at home against the Phillies for $12,600. Uh, DeGrom is pretty expensive today. He's the most expensive pitcher on the slate. Uh, but I think it's for good reason. He's in a really good spot here uh, going up against a Phillies team that's just not good. And DeGrom is also going to be pitching at home uh, where he does have a lot of success. He has pitched very well at home this year. Uh, he's averaged 20 DraftKings points at home, whereas on the road he's only averaged 17. So he does pitch better at home in City Field, uh, which is understandable. That ballpark uh, is a nice ballpark to pitch in. It does favor pitchers. Uh, so I think this is a really good spot for Jacob DeGrom. Uh, this Philly team in the last 30 days, they're second most in the league in strikeout or strikeout percentage versus righties. They're striking out 26% of the time versus right-handed pitching in the last 30 days. Uh, so I think DeGrom's a guy you want to pay up for today. He has plenty of upside in this spot, and I definitely think he is safe for your cash games. Uh, for tournaments, like I said, he's got the upside. He has 30-point potential in this spot. Uh, so I think Jacob DeGrom, a guy you definitely want to target today. If you do decide to pay for a pitcher, I would target him today at 12600 And then for my SP2, uh, there's a really cheap SP2 I like. He'll probably be pretty, pretty popular today, but I think for good reason. Uh, I think the price tag is just too cheap, and given the matchup, he should have plenty of success. He should definitely pay off his salary. Uh, and the guy I like as a cheap SP2 is Michael Waka at just 6900 going up against the Padres. Like I said, I think Waka is just too cheap today, uh, given the matchup against the Padres. We know this Padres team. Uh, they're just not good versus right-handed pitching, and they will strike out a lot. Uh, so this is a really good spot for Michael Waka, and he's also going to be pitching in San Diego. Uh, and that is a pitcher-friendly part, so I think Waka's in a really good spot here to get us at least 15 to 20 DK points. Uh, and if he does that for just 6,900, uh, that's obviously returning value. That's obviously crushing value. Uh, so I think Waka's a guy you do want to target uh, if you're looking to go cheap at SP2. Um, like I said, this fit, or this Padres team, they strike out a lot versus right-handed pitching. Uh, so far in the last 30 days versus righties, they're striking out 24.3% of the time. Uh, and they haven't been hitting righties well at all either. Only hitting a 237 average versus righties and a 300 Woba in the last 30 days. And both of those numbers uh, are bottom in the league. Um, so I think Walk is in a really good spot here. Uh, I think he can definitely return value on his salary. Just given the fact that he's 6900 uh, he shouldn't have a problem paying off that price. Uh, so if you are looking to go cheap today at your SP2, I think Michael Waka, definitely a guy you want to target, uh, just given the matchup and the price tag. I think he's a really good option um, if you are looking to go cheap. When we go with DeGrom and Waka as our two pitchers, uh, that still leaves us 38-12 remaining per player, uh, which we can definitely work around today. Uh, there are, I think there are some good value plays you can target today. So we shouldn't have a problem building around these two pitchers. Uh, but for my three bats, the first guy I like, uh, going to be at second base, a value play. I really like here getting exposure to Coors Field. I uh, like Joe Panic today at just 3,700, getting a matchup against Tyler Chatwood. Uh, I think Joe Panic's in a really good spot here, going up against a righty in Coors. Uh, Joe Panic, I believe he's one of those guys uh, where when he gets into Coors Field, he does have really good games. Um, he did have a really good game today on Monday. 
like I said, I feel like Panic is one of those guys uh, that has had a lot of success in Coors Field in the past. Um, so I think he is a guy you do want to target if you are looking to go cheap at second base. Uh, just looking into the matchup against Tyler Chatwood. Chatwood, a guy we can definitely pick on uh, versus lefties on the year. He's allowed a 356 Woba, uh, and he will also give up home runs to lefties, a 1.49 home run per nine uh, so far this year to left-handed hitters. Uh, and he also walks a ton of batters as well, has a 14% walk rate to lefties, so uh, that's also good for Joe Panic. He should definitely be able to get on base. So I think Panic is in a good spot here, uh, just given his price tag at 3700 uh, I think the Giants, just as a team, are in a really good spot. Uh, just going to Coors Field, that's obviously a big park upgrade. Uh, and you're not really having to pay a premium for these guys. Uh, Buster Posey, he's the most, or actually Brandon Crawford is the most expensive, and he's only 4.4K. Uh, Posey's 4.1, Panic's 3.7, Denard Span, uh, he's projected to bat leadoff. He is only 3.9K, uh, so there is definitely some value in this lineup. So you can definitely get exposure to Coors Field with the Giants today. Uh, they are very cheap. I'm going to be looking to get exposure to them with Joe Panic. Uh, I think he has a really good game today, so I'm going to be plugging him in at second base uh, for just 3700 And then for my next play, going to third base, uh, one of my favorite plays on this slate. Not really going out on a limb here, uh, but I think Nolan Arenado uh, is just in such a good spot. Uh, going up against Ty Blotch in Coors Field. Um, I usually don't pull up hitter splits, uh, but if you look at Arenado's uh, home splits versus lefties, how he has done uh, in Coors Field versus lefties, it's pretty insane. Uh, so if you just look at average versus lefties at home, uh, at home versus lefties, he's batting a 410 average. Uh, that's just insane. If you look at the Woba, the Woba is through the roof as well to lefties at home. Um, at home versus lefties, he has a 539 Woba on the year. That's crazy. And then at home versus lefties, if you look at the batted ball data as well, uh, he's hitting the ball very hard, 49% medium contact and 40% hard contact at home versus lefties on the year. Uh, so this is a great spot for Nolan Arenado. Uh, tight block, not a pitcher we're really going to be worried about. Uh, he doesn't strike anybody out. And if you can't strike people out in Coors Field, uh, you're not going to have a ton of success. So you are going to want to get exposure to the Rockies here. Tight block is just not a good pitcher. Uh, so far on the year to righties, he's allowed a 347 Woba. Uh, and if you look at his away splits, uh, when we get this guy out of San Francisco, he will give up a ton of home runs. On the road this year, uh, Blotch has given up a 1.53 home run per nine. And he's going to be on the road. He's getting out of San Francisco. He's probably getting out of the best pitcher's park. Uh, and going to have to go to the worst pitcher's park, the best hitter's park in Coors Field. So I just think the Rockies are in such a good spot here. Uh, and Arenado being one of them, I love him today. Blotch has also given up a lot of hard contact to righties this year. 49% uh, medium contact and 33% hard contact. Uh, so I think Nolan Arenado is set up to have a monster game. Uh, and at just 5200 I think that price tag is definitely reasonable. Uh, when we see him at cores, he's usually close to 6K, like 55, 5600 uh, So just 5200 I think that's somewhat of a discount. Uh, and given the matchup at home versus a lefty, a bad lefty and tie block, uh, I think Arenado has a really good game today. Uh, so I'm going to be plugging him in at third base for 5200 And when we do plug in Arenado, that only leaves us 3600 remaining per player. Uh, so my final play is going to be a very cheap value play. A guy actually under 3 k in the outfield I really like today. Uh, hopefully he will be in the starting lineup. Um, and that's Yandy Diaz at just 2900 getting a matchup against David Holmberg. Yandy Diaz is a guy I really like today. Uh, if you're looking for someone to go cheap uh, in the outfield or third base, he is third base eligible. Uh, but I would definitely recommend playing Arenado at third base today. But you can definitely target him in the outfield, uh, just given the fact that he's 2,900 and he's getting a matchup against David Holmberg, who is not very good. Uh, so far this year, Holmberg, he's allowed a 325 Woba to righties. Uh, and he also will give up home runs, a 1.3 home run per nine uh, so far this year to righties. And he also gives up a lot of hard contact to righties as well. 44% medium contact and 33% hard contact. Uh, so I really like this spot for the Indians today. They do have one of the highest totals on this slate at six runs. So I think you are going to want to get exposure to their offense. Uh, and I'm going to be doing that today with Yandy Diaz at just 2900 I love that price tag. If he is in the starting lineup today, I think he makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you're looking for someone cheap in the outfield, uh, just given the matchup, and the price tag, uh, he shouldn't have a problem paying that off. So I like Yandy Diaz as a value play we can target in the outfield for 2900 And yeah, guys, so these are my five plays for tonight. I went with Jacob DeGrom, Michael Waka, Joe Panic, Nolan Arenado, and Yandy Diaz. Uh, when we plug these five guys in our lineup, 
We're still left with 3740 remaining per player, uh, which you should definitely be able to work around. You can definitely build a lineup around this five. Um, or if you are interested in getting my lineups, uh, then be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. My lineups are $5 a day, or you can get a week of lineups for $25. So if you are interested in that, be sure to message me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Or if you just have any questions about the slate or you need to ask me something, feel free to hit me up on Twitter as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you did enjoy. If this is your first time on my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I uh, will be doing these MLB videos for the rest of the season, uh, along with NFL. Uh, every week I'll be making an NFL video for the upcoming week. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. I have a ton of content rolling out. And you're definitely not going to want to miss out, so make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, good luck tonight. Peace.